Welcome back. So now to try and test our REST API, we need some kind of REST API test tool. And I'm going to use uh, Postman on Chrome, but if you use Firefox, you can go and Google test REST API Firefox, test Re REST API um, Edge, if that's what you're using. But we're going to use Chrome in my series right here. So what I need to do is I need to go into Chrome and you can go and look for extensions in Chrome. If you haven't tried this before, you can just write this right here. Chrome colon front slash front slash extensions and you'll see all the extensions that you're using right now. Down here I've already added Postman as extension. Let me just try and remove it for a second here so you guys can see the installation. Um, when you're in here you can go and get more extensions down here and under that one I can find Postman in here and there's of course some others that I want to use later as well but let's just stick with Postman for now. When I search this I can find the interceptor. That's not the one we want to choose yet. We want to choose the pure Postman down here and we want to add that to Chrome. So it's pretty important that that's the one you're actually ending up with down here, Postman on its own. I'll say add to Chrome, it'll ask if I can add it, I'll say yes, and it starts adding this to Chrome. Now I'm not going to do a video about how to do the one in Firefox. If you want to use Firefox, you can figure that out yourself how to do it. So I have Postman now and as soon as it's installed, it's actually sending me to another place that you guys might want to know about, the Chrome apps right here. It's not going to be a Chrome series, so, but I just want to show you guys there's actually the Postman available right here and when I click it, it says fastening your seatbelts and it'll start uh, launching Chrome for you. Now it ends up right here where it, where it asks me to sign in and you can choose to sign in and you can just take me straight to the app. I don't have time to sign in right now. And this is the app. This is all the app is right here. We have the Chrome app right here and there's a lot of things to talk about here, but uh, we're just going to focus right now on getting a GET request up and running. And I just want to add one more thing. It is actually an app. That means that you can just go into your search bar here and write Postman, and it'll actually pop up right here as desktop app. Good. So now that we have Postman available, we have the request available right here. Let's try and launch our program again. So here we have the path again for our program inside Chrome. Now I'm going to copy that exact path, and I'm just going to paste it directly into Postman. So here we have Postman again, I'm pasting it in right here, the path we just grabbed from uh, the browser, it's in here, and then I'm going to go to the right over here, and then I'm going to press send. And now you'll notice I get a response back looking exactly like the one we saw in the browser, so that's all we have to do. Now we have Postman running with a get request right here, we could also try the other one we built where we put in a string here, and we'll actually get a response called value and then the name that we put up there in the browser. So now we have Right now it looks just the same as the browser, but the difference is that we actually have other types of requests available here. And look at how many methods are actually available in the HTTP protocol right now. Again, we're only going to focus on get, post, put, and delete. But there's patch, copy, head, options, link, blah, 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 blah. You can go and read about all of those, but for now the four is plenty for us to learn. But now you have the same setup now in Chrome instead of, um, sorry, in Postman instead of Chrome, meaning that we can actually next lesson try and do the post. Yay! See you next time.